In this tutorial, we're going to go over a problem that Outlook Express users may run into when trying to take advantage of the email feature in the Motion Detect tab in the configuration screen. If the software detects motion and then it attempts to send an email, it's going to use your default application to do so. If, you, if, if Outlook Express is set as your default application, uh, depending on the, the, your settings within Outlook Express, you may end up with this, this warning message. Um, it says a program is attempting to send the following email message on your behalf. Would you like to send the message? By default, Outlook Express presents a warning message whenever a, a, another application tries to use Outlook Express to send an email. And basically it's it's a warning message that forces you to manually click the send button whenever another application is trying to send an email. Obviously this presents a problem because when motion is detected and you're not at the DVR you don't want to have to click a send button because the the email won't be automatically sent. That means you would never get the the still image that the DVR software is trying to send to you. So the way around this you have to you have to make an adjustment within Outlook Express. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just click do not send here. And I'm gonna bring Outlook Express over. Uh, in Outlook Express you need to go to tools, options, and click the security tab and under virus protection you'll see a heading called warn me when other applications try to send mail as me you need to uncheck that click apply click OK I'm gonna move this out of the way and at this point when the DVR software detects motion and it tries to send a still image via Outlook Express now that warning message isn't gonna come up so I'll go ahead and quit out of the DVR software. And I'm going to relaunch it to show you that that message doesn't come up anymore. And you'll see very briefly, you may see a flash on the screen where the, the message tried to come up but Outlook Express went ahead and sent the email through so that's how you get around that that issue with Outlook Express uh, we have another tutorial for users of Microsoft Outlook that explains how to get around that problem in that particular program and that concludes this tutorial